Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday, not directly about Laravel but more about dev career and productivity and sometimes business and the topics around that. Today I want to reiterate the talk by Matt Stauffer from Laracon Online. It was an awesome talk, I will link that in the description below. So please spend one hour or so listening to Matt. Actually, all of his talks are really brilliant about not that much coding, but about deeper meaning why we code in the way we code. And the topic was about so-called Yagni. You aren't going to need it. And he evolved a few examples around that with the main idea that we overcomplicate the code too early. So we make the decisions about some design patterns in our application that we need to use something really complex because it sounds cool. Some design patterns like repositories, some Docker containers, something really fundamentally complex without the real need to do that. And the ironic thing that Matt told about is that we're making the decision of architecture in the very beginning when we know about the project the least amount of information. So when we start, we don't really know what will happen with the project in a year or in six months, what will be the team, what will be the changed environment, changed requirements or functionality by client, changed scope of work, the scale and everything. We don't know any of that, but we're still making the fundamental architectural decisions. Doesn't sound logical, does it? So what Matt was talking about was try to simplify the decisions or delay the decisions of complexity and start simple first. You can always complicate the code and the app later, but when you make it complex and you make some fundamental architectural decisions and you make them wrong, it's pretty hard or even impossible to uncomplex that, to simplify the code. Typical example from Laravel would be a controller that you try to optimize before actually launching the project. So you add action classes, repositories, events, listeners, jobs, and everything to make the controller shorter before the controller even is released to the world. It may be a good decision sometimes, but often you feel what design pattern or what classes structure to use only when you have the first draft of the first version of the controller. And another example that Matt has mentioned, repeating parts of the application, DRY, don't repeat yourself, that we should not refactor too early. And until you don't see the repeating parts clearly, you should not refactor that too early. And some people say that you should refactor only when you see the third repeating part, the third time that the same pattern is repeated and not even the second time. So all those things are actually debatable and depend on the context, on the project, on your skills, on skills of your team, on your budget and timeline and many more factors. But in general, what Matt was saying is simplify first. You can always make the app more complex later. And I really, really stand by that philosophy because alpha version of any project, the goal is to launch or at least to launch internally. And then after you launch the first version, quite often even the clients change their requirements or change their opinion before the launch. When they see the first version, then they come up with more ideas and then you can implement more complex logic when you know that logic. So yeah, watch the full talk. I will link that in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.